Public service announcement. I just want to remind you to not fall victim to the consumer aspect of this holiday. If you can't afford to put Christmas gifts under the tree, don't do it. Don't put yourself in a deeper hole for 2023. It's not worth it. Find other ways to show love. Merry Christmas. Where y'all getting this money from? Where y'all getting this money from? But these, these Christmas presents. Can somebody tell me where y'all getting this money from? Yeah, where are they getting this money? I, I wanna know. I gotta buy a gift for my niece, my nephew, my cousin, my dad, my mama, my brother, my sister. You out there shopping, knowing that you have to buy a gift for all these people, you ain't gotta do shit. Because a couple months ago, y'all were just complaining about gas prices. Inflation, gas, and now you about to put yourself in debt for some Christmas gifts? Oh, we gotta have this talk. Can we have this conversation? Where are y'all getting this money from? Because I know you don't have it. You see, we participate in this vicious cycle every year after year after year. The vicious cycle. Let me tell you, but before we even get to Christmas, January, by the time January 1st hit, Ain't nobody even thinking about them Christmas presents, right? And then a lot of you guys use your, your tax return, if you get one, to pay off that Christmas debt and maybe go on a trip or something, right? Then you back to living, check the check. You got birthdays, baby showers, bridal showers, weddings, funerals, GoFundMe, you get a flat tire, you go to the tire shop, and they talking about you gotta get uh, faux tires. Matter of fact, somebody listening to this video right now, somebody know damn good and well they riding on some bald tires. You out there buying Christmas presents knowing damn well you need to put some new tires on that car. Come on now, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. You buying Christmas presents and you out here driving in the winter on some ball tires. Come on now, stop playing. Stop playing. Black people can't afford Christmas and, and most white people can't either. You can't buy a TV with white privilege. I'm sorry, that works. It works in a lot of ways. White privilege works in a lot of ways, but you can't use it when it's time to check out at the cash register. Amazon don't accept white privilege. Most white people can't afford Christmas and most black people can't afford Christmas. Stop playing with me, I know. And yet, every year we go out and spend our hard-earned money on things that do not matter. Let me tell you something. Spending time with your family, your friends, your loved ones, should not come at the expense of your financial wellness. Can we, can we have this conversation? Spending time with your loved ones should not come at the expense of your financial wellness wellness if you are already in debt with bad credit and you out there trying to buy some gifts let me tell you something you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself nobody cares right if you don't have the confidence or the ability to let your people know hey i ain't got it this year i ain't got it if you can't tell your people you ain't got it, then, then I'm not even gonna call you an adult. Because everybody wants to be a grown ass person. Everybody wants to be a boss. But you can't even tell somebody what you're not going to do with your money. I am not going to buy y'all anything. Matter of fact, I've been buying my son stuff all year. I, I, <laughs> I buy my son stuff 12, months out of the year anything he wants, he doesn't really ask for much my son lives an amazing life let me tell you something my son's life compared to mine when we got presents our presents were donated by children's hospital because my mama couldn't afford it i also got the best presents from uh, my great cousin they would bring us presents but my mama didn't have no money and what she would do is get us some underwear, some t-shirts, some socks, you know, some small, and, and we were grateful. But a lot of you 
when you were younger, you watched your parents struggle to get you something. And this video is not for the middle class, upper middle class, let's say upper middle class, because a lot of y'all in the middle class ain't got it either. You live in check to check. You live in check to check. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now, somebody uh, messaged me on Instagram saying that they just got fired from their job and they wanted to know if I could refer them to a contractor. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this story is because the person that messaged me bought a million dollar house two years ago. Now this person can't afford their mortgage. You couldn't afford the mortgage when you bought the house. If you need your job to afford it, then you really can't afford it. Asking me for help, talking about do I know any contractors so that they can turn their property into a uh, you know revenue generating. They wanted to turn their garage into an ADU, some stuff like that. I said it's going to cost you about two hundred thousand to do that, and she only had fifty, but she got a million dollar house. Come on now, people are always buying more than they can afford. Act your wage. Act your wage. Repeat after me. Act yo wage i will i wish somebody would get in these comments and call me broke let me tell you something i retired at the age of 37 walked away from a very rewarding career don't tell me nothing about no money i i i, I sit here and i and i and i give you that information because when you make money, the goal should be to keep it, not give it away, right? You wanna keep your money or invest it, but not just go out all willy nilly so you'll be at square one. Talking about, talking about, I ain't got it. Call me on payday. Stop buying these presents, y'all, on the real, on gang. Save your money. And I'm not coming, I'm, I'm coming from a place of love. I'm coming from a place of love, especially to my black people. We're gonna have to do better. Giving our money to these corporations year after year, the fourth quarter is where they make the most profits. Gas is high, food is high, inflation tearing everybody up, right? Again, you got birthdays, you got co-worker gift exchanges white what they call it white elephant gift exchanges bridal showers weddings funerals go fund me gotta buy a backpack gotta go y'all just went school shopping oh wait a minute hold up we got inflation gas is high food is high y'all just went school shopping in february in uh, september <laughs> where y'all getting this money from where are y'all getting this money from? Stop, stop playing with, stop playing with me. Don't play with me. Don't get, don't, don't get in my comments and talk about speak for yourself. You broke. Do not get in my comments and call me broke. I'm, I'm trying to save you from doing what you've been doing for the, the majority of your adulthood. Going out there buying all the presents. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna wrap this up. But if you are one of those people who is shopping for gifts for family members and dreading doing it, trying to figure out, damn, I gotta buy a gift for my niece, my nephew, my cousin, my dad, my mama, my brother, my sister. You out there shopping, knowing that you have to buy a gift for all these people, you ain't gotta do shit. Tell your family members you ain't got it. And I guarantee you, they will not respond with, go figure out a way to get it. Because most of us, most of us in the United States of America, all races and ethnic groups, all of us, most of us are living check to check. You can't, you cannot lie to me. The data speaks for itself. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You live in check to check and you need to stack your money. This is PBM vegetables and junk food. Stop wasting your money on them goddamn holidays. <laughs> Talking about blessings. Talking about the Lord bless me with a good Christmas. Talking about I'm gonna pick up some extra shifts so I can go buy some presents. Stop playing with me. PBM vegetables and junk food. I'll see you on the next one.
Christmas is canceled. Goodbye.